Uh, always that question is asked of me, my little friend Owl. And always the answer she come back through the trees that I am the drifter, the terrible man, so famous for his badness. Ah, life! She's one big joke, my little friend. <laughs> Mistake, my friend. Pulling guns this way. What are you trailing me for? Who are you? <laughs> That's funny, Dean. I just told the little owl that everyone she's asked me that question. Are you trying to kid me? Those few pips what stick with me, my friend. Call me Drifter. And one thing I never was do was mind other people's business. Just three. That is all. And now, at last, I'm three back here to my father's home. I'm sorry, Drifter, but I thought you were someone else. You think maybe I was the law, no? Uh. Oh, my drifting she's teach me many things, my friend. She's pale with the prison, happier meals. You eyes, she's like the haunted Wolverine. Yes. Twenty years in prison, Drifter. Twenty years of... Before you make the escape, no? Yes. And now, I'm returning home. And like you, to an empty cabin and memories. Oh, memories. <laughs> this old cabin, she's filled with memories. My mother, she was die here when my little brother Pierre get born. When he was just that big, he ran away. You know, like uh, this father of us business. He say he gon' take another name that is no disgrace and get plenty educated. You ever hear from him? No. But always I'm think of him. Always I'm hunt for him. Always I'm love him. That little Pierre. That little brother. Then by and by this, this father of mine, she's become the big fur pirate. Wants to make me the pirate too. Finally, she kicked me out of the place. She say, I, I, I get too lazy, even to steal. <laughs> then, someday, another fur pirate, she's killed his father of me. The family of all John, she's no more. I, I had a family once, Drifter. A wife, 
and a little baby girl I never saw. Yeah, I was told that they both died of the plague the first year I was sent up. Oh, life she's won. Big joke, my wife, this good friend. Today we be very much here. Tomorrow, we was maybe nowhere. No? I guess you're right, Drifter. You've got to take life as it comes. Say, I'm going down the valley to Lebec. Do you want to come along? Lebec? Hmm. Lebec? Hmm. One thing I've been in these towns. Yeah? Was there plenty pretty girls there? Well, I don't know why. Oh, my friend, life without the beautiful lambsell is like the bush without the road. Always I have that strange way with the women. In Ottawa, there was Marie. In Quebec, the Charest. Beautiful the little rose. Oh, plenty girls. Plenty time to live beneath the stars. That is the life, my friend. No? All right, Romeo. Let's get going. Ah. Well, we'll we'll soon be out of the snow, Drifter. Down there in Lebec. Yeah. Where there is most pretty girls, no? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows. Just the drifter, that's all. He's here today and gone tomorrow. You know, he's been mixed up in every lumber war and gold strike since I can remember. Well, bad one, if you ask me. You know, he's never been beat with a knife or a gun. He must be a bad one. Say he is. Where's your boss, Latour? I'm looking for him. Maybe here, maybe there, maybe somewhere else. Who would say, Monsieur? Why don't you ask your daughter, McNary? She can probably tell you. What are you driving here? You know what I'm driving at. Everybody else in town knows that your gal Bunny is playing around with Latour. She's... Wait a minute, Montana. You listen to me now. I happen to know that Latour brought you from the States to do something that he's afraid to do. Meaning? But you're to pick a fight and kill me. You're known as a killer, a gunman. One who fights only when he is sure of winning. Why, you... Once again, I was meet the brave Montana. And once again, she was leave to tell of the drifters.
You're gonna meddle once too often in my business, Ripper. I'm told you won't turn before in the States, Montan. Someday I maybe have to preach the funeral for you. Maybe you like today for that, no? I ain't calling your bluff this time, Drifter, but take my advice and move on. This town ain't big enough for both you and me. No? Because that is tough luck. For you, Montan. <laughs> I'm warning you. Don't say some things you not mean. What I said goes. Get me? Oh, uh, thanks, Drifter. I'm John McNary, president of the Canadian Lumber Company. Oh, sure. I'd like to talk to you. Oh, uh, alone. You uh, see. Coming back soon? Hmm. Maybe sooner than that, no? Uh, why come? Who's come? I think this Montana, she in for lots of trouble. This drifter, she is one bad fella. Well, I don't know. Montana's plenty fast with a gun. Ah. I told you to stay away from my daughter. And I told you I'm going to marry. Not so long as I live, you won't. Maybe you won't live very long. You can't frighten me with your threats, Victor. I know that you brought Montana to Lebec for the purpose of picking a fight with me. And he's known as a killer. I hired Montana to help protect the Northern Company's lumber interests, Mary. As superintendent, I'm responsible to them. And I intend to make certain that their machinery isn't tampered with again. Are you accusing me? Not yet. I'm telling you, though, that I'm going to fulfill our contract with your mill. And my men have orders to act accordingly. And kill me if necessary, I suppose. Your man, Montana, would have done it a few minutes ago if, uh, if it hadn't been for the drifter here. Ah, I see you've heard of him. Well, he's working for me now, you yellow back. You was some sham to make fight with men old enough to be the other. You're right, Drifter. Much obliged. You heard me say to Latour that you were working for me. Well, how about it? There's a foreman's job open for you. Up in the mound? Yeah. Much slow there. Plenty cold. Oh, you can come down to the village occasionally. Uh, my friend Whitey. You was need him too? Oh, why did they call you, eh? Your face seems vaguely familiar. What's your last name? Sometimes the peep's name she's best spoken. Why this is, she's not humble much. Uh, uh, me, I, I, I'm almost forget I'm ever had another name than Drifter. Oh, <laughs> yes, I understand. Okay, there'll be a job for both of you. Oh, thanks, monsieur. You girls, Bonnie, she was leaving the camp? I know. Why? I just want to. She visits the camp most every day, though. That's it. Well, what about my offer? We, oui, monsieur. Whitey and me, we, we goes to work tomorrow. 
Today I have much unfinished business. Oh. Oh, yes, yes, uh, Blonde or brunette? Uh, maybe both, my friend. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <see>. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. You was not like him, no? Why, sure. Yeah, I was, uh, thinking of something else. Uh, come on, let's have a drink. Ah, oh, my friend. You have the big idea. Whiskey. The same for me. Oh, lemon soda. You know, I just adore big, strong men who drink lemon soda. We? Oui? We. Oui. You see what I'm told you about the women? Sit down and have a drink. I have no drink. If you want to turn me down, why don't you pick on a man? Instead of a sorry drinking tender. <laughs> Always in this heart of me is the soft spot for the girls with the beautiful eyes. Me? Oh. 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 All I see is one big joke, my white whiskered friend. To appreciate, she must be tack the way who was called. No? Bonjour, Mademoiselle Bonnie. Hello, Jester. Hello, Whitey. How do you do? Ah. You was like make visit to the camp, no? Oh, yes. I, I love the forest and the big trees. The snow. Oh, of course, I'd like to come up and talk to you, too. Bonnie, oh. we'd better be getting back to town before it gets too late. Oh. Uh, you come back soon? Tomorrow, maybe. No? <laughs> Tomorrow's Sunday. We always go to church on Sunday. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jester. Whitey. Uh, was you ever go to the church? The church? Oh. No? Uh, we go tomorrow. The church? Oh, she made you felt much better, my friend. No? Where? At the church. Good. Give him a chance to preach from funeral service. If he lives. You... You was not kill him in the church. Why not? We'll save him the trouble of packing him in there later. Sucker. One time she's crazy.
must be stranger here. Good morning, Montana. I'm looking for the drifter. I... I was not used, Mac. These can't talk, Monsieur God. But no one else she speak for this fellow, Montaigne. He was born a woman, the same as father, Jacquard, who also get killed. The priest, she teach from the good book, was loved by all. But, but this fell Montan. She may be not understand. If she not know, then she just like blind and grope in the dark for the right road. I need not say much about the priest. He's understand. But this fell Montan. I'm going to tell you about him. She was pretty good fella, maybe sometime. Never kill from the back. Always gives the even breath. His friends, they all tell of how good and happy he was Mac, his mother, with kindness. So I was asked, Monsieur God, this fell Montan, she find the right road with you. Let him find peace, forgiveness, for he's not know what she was do. Bonjour, my little man. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I will help with the axe. No? Mom said if I didn't get the wood and she walked me. She would? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cut the wood for you, mademoiselle. Then your mother, she's give you maybe cherry pie? No?
Whoa! She's tougher. Now we go. Here. Now you be good little can. Tomorrow I'll cut the wood cane for you, maybe. No? Jane! Get away from that terrible man! The idea! Man, he cut the wood! He what? Get out! Get out! You murderer! Or touch my little girl, you filthy beast. You go in the house. Don't you let that dirty drifter touch you again. Why, he killed a man at the church. Merci, madame, for your kindness. See and hear everything. Oh, the terrible drifter. Even the mother was fright. The little baby with his nan. It's because they don't understand, Victor. Well, if they did, they'd realize how fine you really are. You was mean, that mademoiselle? Why, well, of course I mean it. Oh! Then, if maybe you would understand, you learn... Hey, you two! If you want to make love, find somebody else's front yard! Think she'll show up today? Ah, you see many things, my friend, don't you? <laughs> well, it don't take a blind man to see that you've fallen for Bonnie. Huh? You are the one man no much about me, my dear. So maybe you understand when I'm told you this little Bonnie, she's caused this heart of me uh, funny action. Damn. We've been working for McNary two months now, and Bonnie comes down here nearly every day to uh, watch us load. Do you think you're the main attraction? I'm never uh, think, my friend. The strange way I have with the women is what you call the gift. Uh, no? Mm. How about Latour? Everybody knows Bonnie's in love with him. Oh. You think maybe she was come here with her father's consent? Then visit with him? I never think, my friend. I know. No, I don't think we 
I'm afraid, Paul. Father will be furious. He made me promise never to see you again. But, darling, your father will never know until after we're married. Besides, I got the license this morning in Dubois. I think we'd better wait a few days, sweetheart. Maybe Daddy will relent. You have such a strange way with women, Drifter. Only some days it don't work. Love's a funny thing, Drifter. You know, my dear. Well, gee, you don't have to get sore about it. I would like to be by myself, Whitey. Just you say. Like him pretty much. No? Why do you ask me that? I'm see you with him this day. <laughs> I just wonder. He was spying on me. Oh, mademoiselle. I'm never think you say that to me. Don't you know that I love you? more than anything in the world. But I don't understand. <laughs> no one she seemed to understand the drifter. <laughs> she just outcast, with no one to care. But I care, Drifter. Where's McNary? You don't have to look any farther, Latour, nor ask quite so loud. What's on your mind? Plenty. Two of my hoist engines were tampered with tonight. Are you accusing me? I am, and I'm warning you for the last time. I know you think you can break the Northern Company, McNary, but you'd better lay off. If you don't, you'll account to me. Is that a threat? Take it any way you wish. I'm through wasting my breath. From now on, I'll back my words with lead. It's a showdown, Bonnie. Are you for me or against me? Bonnie, go to your room and stay there. Do as I tell you. I understand, Bonnie. When you want to come to me, I'll be waiting. guard at the boundary. I'll have you relieved at midnight.
think we grieved on tomorrow, Waddy. You're a fool, Drifter. To let Latour get away with your girl. She was loafing. Uh, what difference does that make? You brag about your strange way with women. Where is it? Yes. You're a four-flusher. What is it? No one but you will say that to me and leave. I say what I think. You're my pal. And it burns me up to see you let Latour beat your time. Why don't you take a few lessons in lovemaking from him? The drifter was not need fact lesson from no man, my friend. No? Well, you know what Latour would do, don't you? He wouldn't ask. He'd take her. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. Louis Valjean, the famous bad man, afraid to carry out his own boat. Enough! I'm doing it. What do you mean? I mean I'm tacked on the way with me. One, two, three, day maybe. Uh, you haven't got the nerve. You say these things once too often, my friend. Not a thing. Forget the name Louis Valjean. He's don't leave no more. Understand? I... I got you wrong, Drifter. And I'll help you. I'm not need help. No, maybe not. But Bonnie's been pretty friendly with me lately. Seems to like me better than she does her own father. Say, you know where the old Farlane cabin is? Down in the valley? Yeah. But yeah. tomorrow night, when you're relieved of guard duty, you go there. I'll have Bonnie meet you. Uh, don't worry, my friend. She'll be there. If you was Mac lie with me, I'm turn you outside in. She'll be there. you yet, Bunny. And you never will. Oh, Daddy. Why do you always have to treat me so mean? Good night, Murray. Au revoir, monsieur. You always seem to be grudging me the least bit of happiness. You've never shown me any kindness or affection. You treated me worse than your hired men. Oh, Bunny. Oh, don't me leave me alone. Oh, Marie. I wish I were dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. You must not talk like this. There. Don't cry, <laughs> Miss Bonnie. I heard and, and I'm sorry. I, maybe I can help some. Oh, thank you, Whitey. You always seem to understand. Well, I understand one thing, miss. You can't play with love. When two people love each other the way you and Paul Latour do, you shouldn't miss one single hour of happiness. Why don't you run away and get married? That's what I was told, young mamsell. 
while she is young and beautiful, the love it is worth everything. When she is old and fat like me, then nothing is matter. Yeah. Why, after you're married, your father will forgive and forget. Paul and I were planning on marrying, but Father Jacquard's death stopped us. We even have the license. Oh, that's fine, Miss Bonnie. Now, tomorrow night, you go to the old Far Lane cabin, and I'll get word to Paul to meet you there. Then you two can go across the lake to the old mission at Du Bois and get married. Huh? Oh, Beyond the recall, I am content while the music of the songbird and thrall just to wander on where destiny calls when clouds roll by. Say, why don't you try singing some other tune? We? Oui? But I like this song best, my friend. Well, I guess I can't stop you from singing on your own side of the road. <laughs> no. This Latour, she's one bad fella. Look out. She don't shot you for a scene. No? <laughs> What's the idea of this midnight visit? I want to talk with you. Must be important. It is. You asked me what my name was once, McNary. Now I'm going to tell you. It's Farlane. Farlane? You met Farlane? Yes, your old partner. Who you framed and sent to prison for 20 years. No, no. No, Matt, I, I swear, I, I tried to help. Ah, don't lie to me, John. Your lying 20 years ago ruined my life. No, no, I... Matt, I... Now listen to me, Matt. Where's my wife? And a baby girl that I never saw. Dead. Both of them. From the plague and poverty. And you, Matt. For God's sake, now listen to me. Listen, nothing. I swore that you'd pay, and now you will. You and yours are going to know what hell really is. Look at that knife. The tour's knife? Yeah. And your loggers will recognize it when they find it here with you. And he'll swing. And your baby-faced Bonnie will suffer like my wife suffered. Wait! Now, wait a minute! Bunny is! Yeah, she's on her way to the Farlane cabin. The drifter will meet her there. Alone. 
You know his reputation with women? Hombre! Oh, Shut up! And another thing. When Latour gets in from his shift tonight, he'll find a note from Bonnie telling him where she is. <laughs> but he'll get there too late. Oh, oh, oh you, oh, you fool! Oh, Matt. Why didn't you wait? Why, Bonnie is, is your daughter. Your baby didn't die. I, I only let you think so. I hated you because you married her mother. I still hate you. Molly. Molly. You can go back now, Marie. You think you'll be all right? Hmm. Pretty soon storm come down. Maybe big blizzard. I'm not afraid. Besides, there'll only be rain in the valley. But you better hurry before you get caught in the snow, Barney. I hope you'll be very, very happy. Bye-bye, Marie. Goodbye. And Latour's knife killed him. At 8.30 tonight. Yes, and we heard Latour threaten him. Latour did not kill the boss. It's funny, she go on. To the old father in cabin to meet him. And they was going to be married. What time did Miss Bonnie leave here? About 8 o'clock. I reckon Latour is going to have a lot of explaining to do. Come on. He won't leave the Farland cabin until the storm blows over. Stay here, Jean. Tour was not know of this cabin, Mademoiselle. I don't understand. I, I sent Paul a note by Whitey. Whitey. She was fixed this thing for me. What do you mean? I mean that I was tack you way with me. Away with you? 
the love of the drifter will make you happy more and more. Without you, the world she's like this old cabin, filled with emptiness and memory. I'm sorry, Jester. Your sympathy, she was not enough, mademoiselle. The empty heart, the bitter soul in me, she's cry out for the love, the belief in you, mon amour. That is what I want, the most. I'm not afraid, Drifter. You say you love me. You want to make me happy. People do not harm those they love. I know now that you love me. You understand? We can't dictate to our hearts. I love Paula too. And Paul loves me. We were to be married tonight. See? This Pierre Valjean, who he was. Paul Latour's real name is Pierre Valjean. When he was just a little fellow, he ran away from home. His father and his brother, Louis, were fur thieves. He was ashamed of them, he said. Did you know any of the Valjean? Why, I... I was... I was no Pierre's brother long time ago, mademoiselle. He's this Pierre, I think. Good thing, Mary. She's no much wrong. Now you know, don't you, Jesse? Oh, the forgiveness, the forgiveness from you is all I'm ex mentally. When the storm she's lie down, I'm taking you home. Here, one minute. I come back. Pretty quick.
Daddy! Oh, oh the log. I cannot lift him. I get the help. Oh, uh, don't mind me. I, I'm done for. Oh, my. It's Bonnie. Is she all right? You know, think I am harm her. She's the one thing in this world I am loved. Closer. Closer. Yeah, my friend. Uh, uh, Bonnie is my daughter. You can? Uh, yes. McNary told me tonight when I killed him. You was killed, boss? Yes. He's the man that sent me up 20 years ago. I killed him with Latour's knife. I wanted Bonnie to suffer. Oh, I understand, my friend. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, Drifter. I never told anyone that you were Louis Valjean. Don't tell Bonnie who I am. I... I promise, my friend. Oh, Drift. Thank you. by big tree what was fall on him. Paul! Found this when I got back to camp from guard duty. What's it about? Why did he promise to have you meet me here? So we could go across the lake and be married. I reckon this belongs to you. Sure. What are you hanging on to me for? McNary was killed with this knife at 8.30 tonight. Are you serious? Certainly I'm serious. You threatened McNary. You don't think I... Where were you at 8.30 tonight? Up the boundary. Alone? I know. The drifter was with me. Life, she is one big joke, my friend. When I was spicked through, they will pack you out. And oh, he didn't do it. Tell him he didn't. Oh, he may have threatened, but he isn't a murderer. As I was saying, when I was spicked the truth, they will pack you out and set you free. The tour was with me all evening. Such a bounty. Anyway. It was my partner, Whitey, what was killed, McNair. Where is Whitey? She's out there. On the big tree, what was fall and kill him. He was told me all about it when he was dying. Much obliged, Drifter. We'll take Whitey and report back to the police. Well, I hope there's no hard feeling, Latour. None at all.
That was white of you, Drifter, when you know how I've hated you. <laughs> I was no you, brother Louis Long, damn God. Oh, he was told me all about little Pierre who ran away. When he was this soupy. Mm. He was, he was haunt many, many years for you. Hey. You never was see him, no? No, I never want to. You never will. He was love you very, very much, dear. <laughs> he met me, promise. Someday maybe I meet with you, and I become friend for his sake. No? No, no, what could be more friend than, than to help two people what was love each other make happy? No? I was love, Mademoiselle, too. But the stronger call in this heart of mine is the wanderlust. That is the big love in the soul of me. Out there beneath the stars, I am content to drift on and on. So, eh, much luck. Much luck, both, my friend. And now, goodbye. The drifter never travels the same road twice. So goodbye, my friends. And much your luck. Much your luck and goodbye. Life. She is one big joke on you, Drifter. Today, you are very much here. Tomorrow, <laughs> you was maybe nowhere. No? Ha <laughs> ha!